of them were used to Optic and Envious. That's why, like, Optic's always been the number one team because everybody's just so familiar with it, like, on YouTube or the sniping yeah. and all that, you know? And when Impact made that big old, like... Yeah, then, then, then Impact just comes out of nowhere and wins three tournaments in a row. Yeah, it was, like, insane. It was like, whoa, who are these guys? You know, like, if Optic can beat... If Optic can get beat, and so can Envious, you know, any team can now, like, if they're well-trained, you know. Because what I think is, okay, Optic and, like, how Impact came out of nowhere, you know, and won, shows that they trained by themselves and just, you know, participated. Yeah. See, Optic and Envious make a big old giant deal, saying, so, you know, like, the grind to COD Champs or whatever, you know, to make more money. But then now that's, like, what Fariko is doing, or, excuse me, Impact is doing, since they switched names. And yeah. it's it's weird. It's a weird controversy. I won't understand because I'm not like in a pro team, so I, you know, I can't really explain what they do. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. It just it it confuses me a bit. Optic yeah. has been the probably one of the oldest pro teams though. So no, no, I'm pretty. Uh, Envy has been around since they started COD Four. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. The They're a veteran I'm, pro team. Optic Optic can turn up until Black Ops, the first Black Ops. Yeah. And didn't Rambo just join Envious, like, last year? He joined them, um, before, what was it, before, um, Machinima, uh, Frag Cup 4, because he had, they joined